I want to talk a little bit today about orca drone mining. Well, just orca in general. I've seen some uh, comments on some of the other orca videos talking about when you should be sieging, what sieging is good for, and if sieging is just good for compression. And that's kind of one of the main points I want to be talking about in this. And also with uh, heavy water, I've seen a lot of comments about the uh, cost of heavy water and the yield of drone mining and, you know, things like that. But uh, I'm just going to kind of cover a lot of stuff in this video. And first off, we're going to talk about the the large uh, industrial core. Now, it doesn't matter if you're drone mining. It doesn't matter if you are boosting other mining ships. You need to be doing... You need to be have the industrial core going because while you have that on, you get all the bonuses that you see in the info window while it's active. Now, every 100, 150 seconds or so, you're going to use 300 heavy water, which means that you're going to get a lot of time out of a single fuel bay of heavy water. So... In this video, I'm drone mining, and if you're drone mining, you definitely want to have the core on. I usually don't turn on the compression module until I'm ready to compress, but I'll show you here. This is the yield of the mining drones without the seed module on, and then you have the yield here with the industrial core on. So you can see it's a very stark difference, and you absolutely 100% need to be running it if you're wanting to do any sort of type of mining i've seen also seen people talk about how the orca drone mining is worse than a venture which is absolutely not true at all one of the big benefits and the reason why people like to solo orca drone mine is because it's tankier than a retriever or a mackinaw and you don't have to come off grid you can literally stay on grid you can mine an entire belt without, without ever leaving and since you have um, since you have five mining drones, if you're fully skilled into it, you're gonna get 339.99 cubic meters a minute times five. So that roughly translates to about 1600 cubic meters every minute, which is about that if you're max trained in like a retriever or a Mackinac or a skiff or a procure. I mean, roughly speaking, you're looking at about. Um, a little bit half about half of the yield for that now if you're in a skiff or in a procure you're gonna be coming off the grid every time you fill up and then one of the big benefits of actually using an orca is you can just stay out when you fill up you just turn on compression you can press everything and you just kind of keep going which is a really big benefit now there's a lot of skills that are associated with actually getting the good yield for an oak on orca and as far as drone mining is concerned, you want to be able to have your uh, you want to have your uh, drone yield as high as possible. Now, in most cases, when I'm doing like Veldspar and high sec with the Orca with drones, I'm going to be looking at about 12 million an hour with very little required of me other than just like assigning new rocks. I'm usually doing other things where it be I'll usually mine not too far from Gita and far enough away um, that I can still manipulate market orders and can I still do the market thing and also just do project discovery. But if you want to actually make the biggest bang for your buck, then yeah, I go out there and I siege up. Or, you know, if you're not used to that term, it's uh, you're using the industrial core and throwing augmented mining drones out. Now, in order to fit as much tank as you can on the Orca, you're going to need to use the uh, drone rigging skill. This is actually going to allow you to reduce the drawback for the drone rigs which allows you to fit a little bit more onto your fit as far as mining drone yield you want drone interfacing you want mining drone operation and then you want mining drone specialization and then if you want to go less tanky of a route then the rigs you would use would be the large drone mining uh, augmenter twos i use two of those and then the large drone mining augmenter one and that's what i'm using in my rig slots for that and also one of the very big important things that i think a lot of new people probably miss in terms of like every ship they fly is the roll bonus this is the roll bonuses of the orca itself now you absolutely 100 percent want your 
mining uh, your uh, mining command ship skill as high as possible. Five, if if you can, because each one of those roll bonuses you see there is going. You're gonna get that percentage for every level of industrial command ships. So you want industrial command ship five um, the best you can. Now we're gonna look at another thing we're gonna look at here is we're gonna look at the value of dense builds bar um, in terms of per uh, minute for the drones if you're max skilled. And here you can see this is a number the this is for e-praise all the time of recording this video. So every basically if you're on dense builds bar every minute you're gonna get about two hundred and fourteen thousand um isk if you're doing dense builds bar. Obviously if you're doing other um ore that's in like null second things like that it's a little bit better or if you're doing like plaque or whatever but just use this baseline the dense belts bar per minute value about 214,000 now let's look at the um, the value if this is the value of heavy water this is the entire fuel bay completely full of heavy water and this is the value of it about 2 million and you're going to get quite a you're going to get over an hour of use out of just this uh, 16,000 units of heavy water is that you're going to be doing about 214,000 per minute. That means that at the end of an hour, you're going to be looking at doing about 12 million in dense builds bar. Now, if you take off the heavy water from that, then if you take off the entire value of the heavy water from the fuel bay, you're looking at making about 10 million if you're doing just builds bar. But you're not going to use all 16,000 in an hour. Now, yeah, that value, 10 million after um, you take 2 million off, I mean, even 12 million an hour for drone mining is not that, is not great at all, right? But if you're in high sec and you're doing market stuff and you just want to go out and do something where I'm like two or make two to five jumps away from Jita and I'm still like messing around with market orders while I'm on grid, yeah, I still like doing it. I still prefer it. And it's just a really easy way to get trit. Now, honestly, like the best thing to do with drone mining for an orca is doing moon mining in high sec. If you get a bonus frack for moon mining, then that is where you're going to get a lot of value for your time. But I figured I'd just kind of touch on all this and everything like that because it's just, I, I, know I see a lot of misconceptions when it comes to like orca mining, drone mining specifically. And the value is not great but it's still a hell of a lot better than if you have just a single per like the drone orca mining is still actually better than if you even have just a retriever out there doing something or even a mackinaw because you can just go fill up that mackinaw you have to go and empty it and then come back out you lose a lot of time going from you know belt to station and back multiple times whereas you can put yourself in just a more tankier um hull as the orca and just chill Obviously, you know, there's going to be groups that are going to come through and they're going to grab you and, you know, whatever. But, I mean, it happens, right? You have a lot better chance of, um, and I don't really even have issues with orcas as in high sec, really. It just really kind of depends on, you know, keeping an eye out. It's not necessarily AFK orca drone mining, right? Um, most of the time, I'm 100% still at the computer when I'm doing stuff and... I just try to like search for remote systems for the most part. Like don't ever, you know, drone mine like in a main uh, trade route or anything like that. You know, if you can go and case out a system that's pretty low populated. Really the best case use for an orca for drone mining is, uh, is just doing moon mining if you can do it. Going out there and just putting drones on those rocks are big enough. The value is really nice and it's just... Uh, probably the best thing you can be doing mining wise for value in high sec but we're gonna just touch on this a little bit and everything but thank you for watching and peace out